Meantime, Vanessa, that ice this morning was the real deal. We, uh, we have some more issues coming our way tonight. Yes, we do. There is the chance for some refreezing tonight, and then tomorrow night into Friday morning, we're looking out for snow. So as we look at the current picture, the good news is skies are clearing. That will help to dry things out a bit overnight, and it is warm. 46 degrees, variable winds at 7. As we look forward in the forecast, tomorrow will be marked by chilly sunshine. It will be a lot cooler tomorrow than it was today. Some snow rolls through Thursday night into early Friday. Friday, and temperatures all the while get colder and then colder again. So brace yourselves for some very frigid chills by Saturday morning, especially. As far as the snowfall goes, we are expecting accumulating snow between 10 p.m. Thursday and 10 a.m. Friday. Note that only some of us are marked by purple under this winter weather advisory. I expect this to change over the next 12 hours or so, where just about all of us are under the winter weather advisory because we are expecting that accumulating snow and at an inopportune time in conjunction with that morning commute on Friday. Let's talk about today. I know it started off ugly. Temperatures then warmed under very damp conditions. We topped out at 47 in the park. Newburgh 37, 53 the high today in times in the Hamptons rather out in Montauk, but we should have topped out at just 40. It was well above seasonable, still warm right now. Ex exception would be Monticello at 32, Poughkeepsie at 31. Refreezing is certainly a possibility tonight as temperatures drop. As we look at the current satellite and radar picture, we see skies are clearing from west to east. The wet weather, thankfully, is exiting for now. Tomorrow, a brief moment of sunshine. Yes, a bright and dry day. But then after nightfall, we'll be watching the storm system from out west, dive to the south, pick up Gulf moisture, roll toward us in the form of snow. So let's break it down for you hour by hour. As of tonight, things are looking just fine. Again, some freezing possible tomorrow morning. Your Thursday will be a bright and beautiful day and seasonable in the 30s, but we will struggle to get out of the 30s. So expect it to be chilly compared to today. Then as we make our way Thursday evening into Friday morning, the clouds thicken first. By 10 p.m. tomorrow night, we're starting to watch some light snow roll into the region. By 4 a.m., snow overspreads the region and is getting heavy at times, especially close to the coast. Coastline, and then the system is wrapping up and out of here by 10 a.m., leaving us with a little shoveling to do for most. Two to four inches is the general range across the board. Some exceptions might be well north and west, a little bit less, one to two inches, and of course, the possibility of a little more for the Twin Forks and Southern Ocean County, where we could see four to maybe six inches. It all depends on exactly when the storm begins to intensify off the shoreline. For tonight, some clearing, 34, not as cold, but certainly some refreezing as possible. Tomorrow, 39 degrees with those increasing clouds. And then, of course, we're watching snow tomorrow night into Friday. As we check out your extended forecast, by Friday afternoon, skies are clearing, temperatures are dropping. Saturday morning, wind chills will be in the single digits for most of us. Then by Saturday afternoon, it's 33 degrees, feeling like the 20s. Unsettled again on Sunday before we can dry it out and get even colder next week. Christina Murray is back to you. Okay, Vanessa, thanks.